This one is steamy in the warehouse. You know how much Wayne's worth? Forbes uh, estimated Wayne Industries worth. What? Or Bruce Wayne is a uh, 9.2 billion dollars. 9.2 billion? Wayne Industries brings and in And I'm 30, down there slaving away in 30, the 30, fucking warehouse. 33 billion dollars a year, dude. Man. How do I, they estimate Wayne Industries? They they don't. They just they just wrote a thing. Yeah. I should have read the article, but no, I saw the headline and I said I knew it, dude. He's a billionaire. He's a billionaire playboy. 9.2 billion. None of the guys in the warehouse respect him. Yeah, but who would ever suspect that a billionaire playboy would be at nighttime? What? Saving saving the city. How? Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Oh, shit. I shouldn't, I shouldn't blow his cover as <laughs> Batman. Never mind. Wait, what? Wasn't Bruce Wayne Batman? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was, I was like, what the fuck am I? I was joshing. Yeah, I shouldn't blow his cover, dude. Not everyone knows. Dude, not everyone's seen the movie. True, my bad, my bad. Dude, you wanna know what? Yeah, not everyone's seen the movie yet. So my bad, my bad. <laughs> the movie's Batman. <laughs> I saw the first half of Batman. I was like, I don't like this fucking Bruce Wayne fucking dickhead. And then you, you know what I mean? And then halfway through, I was like, Oh, he's actually a good, good, good guy, vigilante. <laughs> I thought it was just a, you know. You should have stood up and been like, What? Yeah. I was what? Like, Wait a second. Hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Uh, I had one of those last night. I put. A, I watched Fight Club for the first time in a long time. Did you? Yeah, it's good. It's still kind of gay the way they talked all the time. Yeah, They're like we're a fu- we're Americans. We don't even have fathers. Father's supposed to be God. God left us. Maybe God doesn't like you. Maybe we don't need him. It's like shut up. Dude. Damn. But uh, I watched it with my girlfriend. I was like, Do you know what happens in this movie? And she's like, I haven't seen it in forever. She I forgot. Was like, I was like, "What? What do you know about it?" Because I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. She was like, "Uh, she didn't say that she knew Tyler Durden was him the entire time." Yeah. So then we get to the part where the reveal happens, and I was like, "Oh, what do you think of that?" And she's like, "Oh, I know, I knew that." And I was like, I, "I was trying to like pry it out of you." I was like, "What else happens in the movie? What's like a big thing in the movie?" Nothing. She wasn't telling me. We get to the end. She's like, "Yeah, everybody knows that. Why would you act like I didn't know that?" I don't, so, know, I don't yeah. know. Now that you're saying it like that, yeah, I guess I was being pretty dumb. It'd be like if somebody <laughs> saw the sixth sense before and then you get to the end and you're like, How about that? <laughs> like, yeah, of course I knew that. That's the whole point of the fucking movie. Uh, dude, that movie the sixth sense like really scared me when the I saw sixth it. Sixth Sense was so scary. That, like I was genuinely quaking. I was afraid to go to the lavatory that night. I got back to my parents' house. I got back home. Dude. And I was afraid to go to the bathroom. Yeah, that makes sense. I was yeah. quaking and then the reveal happened and I went. I didn't know a movie could trick me that hard. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, what the fuck? You ever fuck? hear the Bargazzi joke about it? No. He has a joke where uh, it's so believable, like how bad marriage is, that it's more believable that the guy and his wife just don't talk. Like if, <laughs> if, if, for you, if, for, you can't piece together that he's a ghost by the fact that they like sit down at dinner. She doesn't say a word. <laughs> like, yeah. Completely skip over the detail. Yeah. But yeah, Fine. I was uh watched Fight Club last night. It is pretty neat. It was a pretty neat movie. It's good. It's good. Maybe want to go wreak havoc because I fucking hate corporations other than Wayne Industries. True. That's that's. I just want to blow up corporate art because, like, what the fuck even is that? True. Yeah, you know? we need we need uh, what you call it. Although maybe you know George Soros at nighttime is a vigilante. You think? Maybe he like gets yeah. Maybe he puts on some costume and goes out and like. And then he smuggles takes, Venezuelans across the yeah, border. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's defending the border at nighttime. He like, could be. Man. Yeah, he could go down and like take handguns off of crime scenes and be like, you killed an innocent man. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Try to get rid of police. Who knows? You don't know what billionaires are up to. Trump attack Zuckerberg. What did he do? I, I put on That's the way up like here. suffering succotash. Trump attack Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah, he attacked Zuckerberg. What do you, what do, you do to the Zuck man? 
Calling him a weirdo. Is that why Zuck posted that fight video? He's like, why don't you say that to these hands? Did he? Yeah, he posted a training video. It looked fucking scary. Yeah, he called fucking Zuckerberg <laughs> it was a weirdo. Truly scary. He called Zuckerberg a weirdo. I mean, he just was, dude. I, I listened on the way up here. I listened to Biden's speech. So the, Trump told the truth again. He did. He goes, that guy. So he has a new speaking style too. He screams every like fortieth word. He just screams it. Yeah. He'll just that's be, my style. That's the one I'm good at. That's what he, dude. He just screams. Yeah. He just screams that guy's a weirdo. Crowd probably went not even. It wasn't nuts. even that. He he just he hits everyone with a nickname. He called some guy a watermelon head. <laughs> <laughs> when he was like talking about Damn. the, who do you hit it with that? That's a tough one to fucking recover I, from. I forget. Former he, president he, looks at you and goes, "You fucking watermelon." Head. I forget the guy he attacked. I, it was like he names people. I don't. I don't. You had to like read the news and know yeah. some of the people. Zuckerberg, I knew he went. Some guy came to my White House, a weirdo. You guys might heard him, Zuckerberg. He's like really dug in. When he was talking about the withdrawal, and where was that Afghanistan? Yeah, he was like they left tanks, planes, and goggles. He just yells, <laughs> yells <laughs> goggles, <laughs> goggles. He just yells every fourth. We left word. all the night vision goggles, yeah, I know. which actually, <laughs> which actually ends up being a real problem. Yeah, because that's like the one major advantage is at night. They were Batman at night. True. They can't see us. That's pretty sick. It's, I didn't even think about how much of a tactical advantage that it's was. Cheating. <laughs> I mean, we're over there fully cheating. They can't see at night, dude. They have no military training. So, there's like kids standing outside, like holding an AK-47, guarding a tent in the middle of the night. Oh, and it's ten so dudes dark. from a mile away. Just, just a bonfire. He's gone. Next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He screams now. He just fucking screams every six word. Yeah, I was talking, dude. I was talking. Yeah, that was, that's, I mean, that's awesome. It's so to sick, finish sentences, it's so sick. I was talking to a member of the. I was talking to one of the teams guys, really? and I was making fun of him for that. I, you know, yeah. I was joshing about it on stage about how it's cheating. You guys are fucking going over there. It's literally night vision and like <laughs> they. He was saying they were trying to get rid of their. I, I I could be wrong here, but like there was somebody at the UN that was like, "This is kind of a war crime. Mm. You guys are really cheating, actually." But I mean, they're fighting ISIS, who's really cheating. Those yeah, guys are true. really cheating. That is. Yeah. It's like, we'll blow up civilians. Yeah. It's like, so that's really cheating. You don't need night vision to see this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it in broad daylight. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was fun. I, got I finished to... that book. I finished that. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't finish yet. It gets, it's it's pretty disheartening. Is it really? When you find out what Zarkawe and then what the boys wanted, which was just sectarian violence. They wanted this, the Sunnis and the Shiites. Yeah. It's sad. I got to that part where they were stoking the division. They're just fucking suicide bombing every fucking prayer. Fucking idiots, Sunnis and Shiites fell right into it. Yeah. Dumbasses. Dumbasses. Fucking <laughs> dumbasses fell I right into it. Yeah, the Catholics never fell for it with the Protestants. No, never. No, I'm like, dude, that's bullshit. I'm not, that's, this must be an insurgency. That's fucked up to try to incite violence. On that level? Yeah, to just suicide bomb innocent people at a prayer. Well, yeah, that's at like a festival, just run into a crowd. It's the worst thing. It's, it's the worst thing you could possibly it's do. It's probably the worst thing. It's literally the worst thing you can do. It's also, <laughs> I would go ahead and say suicide bombing is up there with the worst things you can do. Yeah, for I real. I think it's fair. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty. That's the, yeah. one of the most terrible. Uh, well, this is kamikaze. Pretty similar. Oh, you're that's saying pretty lit. Yeah, but that's on a military base. I mean, it's, it's probably the. I'm not saying the lives of soldiers are that expendable. But it's True, like the for some reason weren't it is. hitting civilians. They were hitting battleships and they were outnumbered. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Shout out to the kamikazes for that. Dude, imagine going to the mall and be like, <laughs> fuck, I need new sneakers. Yeah. It just blows up. You're like, yeah. fuck. Ow. God damn it. Damn it, dude. I was on the second floor. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, being just on the outskirts of one of those blasts is just getting <laughs> fucking like knocked over. Like, what the fuck, dude? This place sucks. <laughs> Ruins your whole fucking day. That would fuck your day up. Just getting pushed over by air. Yeah, the worst part, too, when they taught when the guy's like so stoked about like how famous he is of an Islamist leader. Yeah. He's like, dude, I'm definitely better than Bin Laden. It's like, no, no, no. You guys are the fucking worst. There's you guys no, are the worst guys. There's no hierarchy in yeah. there. It's like, no, I'm actually, I'm, Bin Laden used to be the shit. Now I'm obviously the shit. Dude, you're never going to be Bin Laden. I just killed so many kids and they think it's the Sunnis, dude. Everybody thinks it's the Sunnis. I've done it again. <laughs> I'm going to put out a video saying it was me. <laughs> yeah, those guys stunk. Yeah, but that was their shit. That was like, dude, that was stuff. There was enough people to be like, yo, that dude's, fun. I think that guy might be my favorite yeah. fucking radical Islamist leader. He's there to be like 
they're going to bring it about. We're coming. Victory is upon us. We're going to take Rome. We're about to completely take the United yeah. States. It's like, dude, no, you're not. <laughs> you're, not you're, you're just <laughs> ruining your fucking country. You're ruining like the five countries around yourself. Yeah. You can't. It just you can't. About win. King Abdullah, he was the fucking man. That dude rules. Jordanian king. That dude I haven't rules. followed up with him since the book, which I think ends in like 2012. Does it or 13? I don't think it gets even to the Paris attacks. Yeah, I didn't. Whenever I talk, if I talk about a book once on a podcast, I'm like done. Yeah, I finished the book. I was on chapter three. I talked about it. I'm done. done. Yeah, yeah. I got a more important book coming around right What'd now. You got? Pirates, dude. Hey, Colin Dick Sparkos, Bush Bush Pirates. It's Diggs speaking. May I help you? Hey, what's going on, bud? Hey, I, I got a sports call for you right now. Um, if you could bear with me, I, I work for a marketing firm. Two seconds, man. I just got to tell you about this DraftKings, dude. Football's back. And DraftKings Sportsbook, an unofficial sports part, betting part, or an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving new customers a great offer. Bet just five bucks and get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly. And they're throwing in a bonus. For We're good, one. Hold on one second, dude. Hello. Hello, Hello. this is Alex calling from the Sporting It's Christianity. We just had a check in for your phone number. Was there an order you were getting ready to pick yeah, up? Yeah, that was a mistake. Um, I was actually okay. talking. I am, I'm actually I'm B two B sales as well. We're, we're both in the sports business. Um, just give me two seconds. Okay. I had to get through this thing. It's uh talking about DraftKings, talking about how they give you, you bet five bucks, give you two hundred dollars in free bets instantly, and throwing in a bonus for week one. Everyone can get in on DraftKings early win promotion, bet on any NFL team to win. If your team leads by ten at any point during the game, you get paid instantly, even if your team loses. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code Drench to get two hundred dollars in free bets instantly when you place five bet. $5 bet this Sunday. That's code drenched. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official be- a sports betting partner of the NFL. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. DraftKings, now go in some money. Thank you, man. Hey, hello? Appreciate you, brother. Yep. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, no problem. You good? Yep. You, you good? All right, cool. All right, bro. Thank you. All right. Later, bro. What do you think of that? I like I'm that. reading about pirates I like that in the a high lot. seas. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> myths that need to be dispelled about pirates. Yeah, they were bad. Were they bad? I don't know if anyone knows that. They were bad. They, they liked to rape and torture a lot. Really? I mean, they were out on the high seas for a long time. What about the code? The pirate's code? Yeah, what about the code? Uh, the, the book tries to like hype that up and be like, they were actually democratic. Really? I mean, I think there was some voting, but there was also a lot of torture and rape. But like, who should we rape today? And they're like, oh, these guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I just had no idea uh, how much of a hub the northeast of the United States with all the colonies were pirate like hubs you never think of that you always think of them in the caribbean yeah you never think of the them in rhode island and new york especially just popping in yeah they, this is where they this is where they'd base out of and then the british would give them like they'd call them privateers instead of pirates because then they had a contract to go attack french vessels hmm. but they were just using it to sail around south america go to the indian ocean and uh attack the muslims <laughs> Classic America, dude. Wait, so they were contracted to protect, and they were in the spare. They were time contracted, to, yeah. Spare time, fuck they pop. with French vessels because England and France were always at war. Yeah, and they would just take that so that they had a letter to be like, "No, we're not pirates." When they got caught, and they would just go attack the Mughal Empire. Oh, which they found out. I, I talked to. Yeah, they what? found out that the Muslims were going on Hajj on pilgrimage. Yeah, and the way they would do it is they would sail with like the nicest shit. When it when the Muslims used to go on pilgrimage, they would stunt. They'd bring oh. their finest shit, all their gold. They'd go stunt. They would catch them, and then the pirates would come get them. They'd be like, give us, a, and they'd they'd, like, the one dude got caught with his concubines on the way back from Mecca. He had a fine, fresh boat of concubines. Oh, they took him. Yeah, that was pirate heaven that day. That was Mr. Steal Your Girl. Fucking, that was yeah, that was, that was definitely Mister Steal Your Girl oh. in the most vicious way. I mean, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't be sailing around with tons of jewelry and hot babes on the open seas during when pirates are a thing. I would, I would do that. Absolutely not do that. Also, where would you have to go? You have to go to Mecca. Uh, I was gonna say if you, but you have the squad back there. If you had Babe Squad, I'd be like, yo, guys. I'm staying in Mecca. I want to hit Mecca. I might catch in the next Mecca. Yeah. Why would you get on a fucking no, boat? He brought, he brought him home from Mecca. He went He went to Mecca. Oh. I think he probably bought them. Yeah. He had some fresh concubines. And the boys got them. The pirates, the pirates from like Rhode Island got them. Oh. Dudes from fucking Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> We're in the Indian Ocean in 1650. Oh. Yeah. Snag some 15-year-olds, most likely. Snag some, yeah. Anyway. Some armpit hair 15-year-olds who were hot as hell. Hey, they were, were they shaving their armpits back then? Probably not. Probably not. It's probably difficult. 
Although don't Muslims, I know that you would think they're very hairy, but don't they maintain Meticulous, like fully yeah. shaved? I figured every woman. Uh, well, take it easy over there. Guard, the guard I, dog goes, yes. <laughs> I, f- I just figured everyone back then was rocking kind of hairy armpits. Like, what were they? I guess they had straight razors back then. Yeah. Yeah, maybe my time's off. But yeah, that's. I think they've had those forever. Well, it must have been crazy, too, because I don't think anyone had deodorant back then. So you would like smell a whole new type of woman. Yeah. It'd be like new pheromones. It'd be, Fine, it'd be pretty horny. Ma- it'd be horny making. From the Orient. You're like, yeah, oh, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. I mean, it's a terrible thing because when you know to discuss because you know it wasn't all, it wasn't all funny games, obviously. But yeah, the what are we talking about? Pirates raping fifteen year old girls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't all fun and games. And smelling Although them. <laughs> technically, there it there was fun. Yeah, one person had fun in that. Someone had fun. <laughs> I mean, they sang. So no, so, you know what? You can't say it was no fun and games. The deplor- yeah, the rape was deplorable. But when they all when that yes. was all when that nasty business was over and they got to sing songs together. Talk about legends and you know cultural stuff. That was probably yeah decent swinging your fucking them. rum. I mean, I condone what obviously we condone what they did before. Obviously, we're not we don't condone piracy on the on the podcast. Not piracy whatsoever. Yeah. Not even like yeah, I guess not at all. I don't like any pirates. What about pirates code? What if like I was what? captured? What if some pirates capture me? Some Malian pirates capture me, and I was like, you guys. The code. Parlay. 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 I demand a parlay. I demand a parlay. They would chop your hand off. They would stab me with a fucking... (laughs) (laughs) Stab me. (laughs) True. Captain Phillips should have demanded parlay. Yeah. Or if you hit him with like the woozy Johnny Depp, they might be like, whoa, fuck, dude. I would just start (laughs) reciting the plot line of like the crystal skull or whatever the fuck it was. The Johnny Depp curse, and they'd be like, "What?" Like, <laughs> ye cursed, he's a cursed Amber Heard. A, a <laughs> Kraken took a crap on her on his bed. <laughs> that was such an awkward thing to il- infiltrate the news during like all the other stuff going on. Russia, yeah. you, it was all Russia, Ukraine, COVID. Then it was like, like Amber Heard took a <laughs> shit on Johnny somebody, Depp's bed. Dude. Somebody pissed on Johnny Depp and he hit her <laughs> allegedly. It was like, oh man. Yeah, that had to be a bummer for the Ukrainians. Like they must have been huddled around their TVs. Like the United States will save us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like breaking. They're like, yes, here it comes. More oh, arms. I, oh, I know that guy. <laughs> yeah. This is that is him. That is the pirate. She found his shoebox of cocaine and shit into it, and he <laughs> smacked her. <laughs> and then Johnny Depp won somehow. He won. He did, dude. He, he won. won for all of us. He did. That was unbelievable. He won a girlfriend argument. He took a girlfriend argument to the furthest conclusion yeah, of the law. The highest court in the land. <laughs> the highest court in the land. <laughs> yeah, this is the only way to win girlfriend. Just went, oh, this is nonsense. This, this is, is the fucking only, yeah. bullshit. You have, to, fucking- you have to bring in litigation <laughs> for someone to sit down and go, no, nothing she said made sense. Dude, but how how satisfying would it be? I know he got like dragged through the mud publicly, but to have like Harvard trained lawyers just eviscerate your girlfriend's argument, just sitting back there, just like fucking yeah, yes, her dude. up at the stand, yes. being like, "What? What? No, I didn't what say did that." You say? It's like, uh, ma'am, it says here in Article Forty Eight. <laughs> yeah, you did say that. What? what? So you're lying under oath, which is a crime. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you fucking with me now? You're a fucking asshole. Man, before I order the court, and you're just like, oh, fucking yeah, yes, no, But dude, think if you fuck. locked eyes with Amber, if you were some fucking douche from Harvard, and then you locked eyes with her, and she was like, I think she was probably casting spells a bit on the, <sighs> on the lawyers. One of those guys had to be like, I think I can fuck Amber Hurt. I'm going to yeah, try dude. to fuck Amber. I'm going to throw this thing. I mean, not thinking known women shitting in guys' beds, but like, dude, the pussy must have been fired. We don't condone dude. that. I don't condone that at all. I don't condone <laughs> raping 15-year-olds on the high seas. Not at all. Or shitting in your boyfriend's bed. Shitting in your boyfriend's bed. Even if he has a gigantic box of cocaine, that's his business, dude. He's Johnny Depp. He's allowed to have a giant. Dude, that's, his, the fuck? that's his treasure chest. Yeah. <laughs> that's his, well, I mean, what the fuck? Dude? Yeah, Let what's him the do point it. of it all? What's the point of any of this if you can't do that? If, if a guy's working his ass off, dude, give him I, a gigantic Scarface box of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a lot of farts going a on. A lot of farts on the ship, dude. <laughs> Think if you had a captain that didn't like farts on the ship, dude. <laughs> would suck, I'd be dude. so pissed if Captain Hook <laughs> fucking put me. <laughs> Pirates suck, dude. Pirates fucking suck. Yeah, I mean, dude, they probably captured. They definitely captured the imagination of men. Yeah, I mean, they, they were did. all they were all guys that like. They were all sailors. 
Mm. The, the the book starts with them just dudes on a on supposed to be on a trip with like the British government. They're on they're they're a naval vessel. Yeah. They just immediately one night they're like, all right, we're let's be pirates, and they just go throw the captain off the boat. They kill him. They just kill whoever's yeah. in charge and just take the boat. And they're like, all right, we're not going back. We're going to Jamaica. It's party time. We're gonna just start stealing ships. What? And then we'll steal shit and take it back to Rhode Island. And they don't know. Nice. They don't know who the fuck we are. They'll just buy shit from us. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's a nice gig. But then eventually it, the pirate life is the, it sounds like the worst life literally of all time. Yeah. It sounds pretty it's bad. It's up there. It's up there. I mean, you're scared. The ocean's a scary place to be. The ocean's terrifying. You're literally just, your whole goal is to go try to capture something Jeez. and you bring it back and then you got to go back on the water for like, it sucks. And the yeah. pirate towns were t- they were talking about there was there's one part of the book that was very interesting. I forget her name. It was a it was a world renowned whore in Jamaica. And they were describing how all, like they were like, she must have been of a sturdy build to be able to take all this. And they're like <laughs> they were like she was like a barber's chair. Like it would be one man on as soon as that guy was off, a uh, guy was in line next. <laughs> all day, every day, dude. What? Yeah. It was a pirate's life for her. How would you even physically do like I don't know. She must have had some gnarly fucking emotions. She must have had the craziest fucking vagina of all time. Yeah. A, in a port in Jamaica in the 17th century, just wasn't like 50 an- dudes a day. Uh, <laughs> Pirates, not just like today's dudes. With none of them would pull out either. Genitalia. None of them would be a gentleman and pull out. No. They were definitely all like, yeah, nah, I, I got you. I've come inside ye. Maybe she just, <laughs> maybe she just learned she wasn't able to have kids and was like, "Oh, it's on." Yeah, I can do this. I got the, I got the fucking, I got a money pussy. She's got the magic box. I got man. the LLC pussy, bro. Yeah, I got that pussy that incorporated corp, dog. I got that fucking pussy incorporated. <laughs> um, so you were in, you were speaking of pussy. <laughs> yeah. I was in the chat town. Pussy that chat town. Yeah, dude. I what fucking, was that like? It was sick. We wanted to do. Uh, it was just family stuff. It's family business. Went out there to do family stuff. Um, dude, it was fun. We did, uh, I went to a, a barbecue. Well, fly, I mean, flying out there is a fucking nightmare. Flying out there with two kids. It's just. Oh, man. Dude. The, I can't help it. Despite Louie's bit about like, I, it's trying to sympathize with somebody who's flying with kids. Yeah. I know that definitely blows. Yeah. But I'm also mad that your kid's on the plane. Yeah. A lot of I people are like that. I can't help it, dude. I don't, I don't like look, the, I don't, I don't give them the fucking like, yeah, yeah, show, yeah. I would never do that. Ever. Oh, it's, that's crazy. I'd never ballistic. turn around. It's ballistic. But kids screaming like directly behind me. I'm so fucking angry that, that that happened on the, so on the way home from Columbus. Yeah. So I had a rough night, dude. The Irish took one on the chin, not a big deal, but whatever. I'm not that mad about it. Uh, that's a tough schedule. That's the thing. We have a tough schedule like that. Week one. Yeah. Week one against the number two team in the country yeah. at their place. I mean, a lot of teams wouldn't do that. Notre Dame does that. Yeah. That's uh, how you make leaders. That's how you make leaders of men. Yeah. You want a four-year degree or do you want a 40-year degree? Notre Dame's <laughs> offering 40 years, dude. <laughs> 40 years of your life. I mean, there's no network like the Notre Dame family. I call on the guys all the time. I say, guys, help me out. They go, who is this? <laughs> what year did you graduate? I go, 2011 from Westchester. Your resume's Wayne Industries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh but I got on the plane and I left my fucking AirPods in the hotel. Oh. So I had no headphones. I had to buy like dog shit, cheap Bluetooth airport hotel or airport headphones. They were terrible. I'm a cord headphone guy, dude. I'll lose them. I, I'll I, lose I, them yeah. in two seconds. I got to go back to cord. I don't know who I think I am. I think I'm a hot shot. <laughs> the AirPods are sick. The AirPods are nice. I'll lose them immediately. Uh, but then my, my headphones gave out like right away. I'm hung over from the game. I'm on this flight. And then, of course, there's a baby directly behind me that's just wailing. None too pleased with the idea of flying, <laughs> screaming, <laughs> screaming the whole time. <laughs> and my beloved Irish lost. Yeah, I mean, hungover, a baby crying must just be like a tumor in your brain. Yeah, that's why a lot of parents. I mean, not a lot. Well, a lot, a lot. Not the majority, but a lot of people stop drinking. They have, they're like, I can't be hungover with the kids in the morning. You can't. You cannot. I mean, you can. Yeah, they do it. That's how kids get fucking you left can. on the ground for three days. You can. You can. You come down and be like, shut up. Yeah. Shut up, sicky. Shut Go up. Go to your room right now. You're, you're on timeout. You're too. You should fucking know better. I can't fucking get up right now. Why? Shut up. Why lay am I this, on timeout? Lay in this dark room with me, even though you're full of energy. Yeah. Uh, you can, do people tie their kids to beds. 
You can just fuck. Do they really? Yeah. Jesus. People, yeah. People strap, the, just lock a room, be like, there's nothing in there they can hurt <sighs> themselves on. Yeah, true. Odd snap time for me. Did or you, you can Casey Anthony, dude. You can. You can say, it's, I, you know what? The party's not done. Kill the party. <laughs> the party's not done. <laughs> Kill the party. <laughs> You want to talk fucking Rolo Tomasi, dude? The Manosphere killed a party. What's that? Killed a, killed a party is the thing they say of like women, like like kit classic example of women killing their kids so they can go compete with hypergamy, with high alpha status males. They'll kill their children because they love it, dude. And you're getting fucked. You're getting yeah. fucked about it because these women are gonna. You're not getting pussy because maybe women a pirate's are life's not the worst. Maybe yeah. being a Manosphere guy is. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a boat, dude. If they had a boat. They'd be fucking. Killing it, dude. They all be together on the boat. Being all like, quiet yeah, on the Andrew Tate front. I think that thing's. I, I think, think the ship over. sailed. Yeah, I mean, I think that's there over. was like a two week period where that was nonstop, and now everyone's kind of. Yeah, it's. They, I think you delve into that guy a little bit. Although I, last episode we did here, I was hyper critical of Andrew Tate, and then we watched one Andrew Tate interview, and I, was, I kept being like, "Fuck, he's the man, dude. He's fuck. funny. He is funny. He'll, he'll just. He's gonna be like a getter." A getter guy. He'll be like locked in like where Jones is. He's in like the nether realm of the internet yeah. now. He'll chill. He'll sell. He'll have his hustlers university. Dude, they you wipe see that, off the internet. You see that Jones man? Spaz. Oh, it was on the Reddit. That's where I saw it. Yeah, what Jones was that man. clip? Jones man talking to the all gas, no brakes guy. And he was like, he was like, do you feel sorry about the, do you, do you take any responsibility for the parents of Sandy Hook? All that. And the Jones just spazzed. He was like, I killed the kids. I'm the one who killed the kids. I killed the kids at Sandy Hook. And Jesus. the guy was like, no, you didn't. Obviously, you didn't. He's like, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, he just screams, I killed the kids. And then he hot mics himself and walks into the back room with his producer. And he's like, you like that? And the producer's like, no, you should probably chill on that. He's like, I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't give a fuck. Jones doesn't. He's unhinged. He's done, dude. You can't. Dude, I'm telling you, you can only take so much. Even if, dude, if they can break Jones, they can break anybody. Yeah, I mean, dude, to nationally be known as the guy who, like, kind of besmirched a bunch of kids that got shot and lied about them, that's tough, yeah, dude. That's, that's the, worst the stuff one. of nightmares, Sandy Hook's Sandy Hook is probably the worst one you could get. The shit was sweet before the dust settled to be like, I don't think that shit happened. It was a cool thing to say at the time. <laughs> I remember was like, you guys. Once people I, are remember, like I remember uh, War Mode getting hip to the fucking Sandy Hook stuff. And I was, even then I was like, I don't think. They were like, there's no internet in the building, dude. What school doesn't have that? I was like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know about the internet thing. Yeah, man. That that They haven't. I don't know if they. Well, never mind. I don't want to speak for them. Sure. Yeah. No, I don't know what happened. But yeah, I mean, they got Jones in court. Yeah. They got Jones to be like, he backed off. They took all of his receipts. Who, Jones? I think he just owes a ton of money to the parents. Yeah. But he, but that also did free him to go on the internet and go, I killed all the kids in Sandy. <laughs> like, now he's loose. Dude. Now he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Paid the piper. Yeah, the internet puts that fucking eye of Sauron on you, man. That's tough. Yeah, when it's something like that, that's... Because nowadays, dudes can survive, like, N-word trauma. They can survive all types of stuff. But being... Because there's no one to... You can't... Like the guy who did it. What's that kid's name who did Sandy Hook? I don't know his name. Lanza. That I was the guy who... Lanza. Really? Who shot up Sandy Hook? Yeah, George Costanza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adam Lanza. Something like sounds that. Sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. But is he dead? Did they kill him? or No, they took him alive. I don't know. His name's Adam Lanza. Is he dead or alive? He killed himself by shooting himself. He in killed the himself head. in Sandy Hook. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah there's no when, one. You can't be mad at anyone. When they yeah. he killed himself, the worst thing on earth happened. Yeah. A bunch of fucking kindergartners got shot with a rifle. It's rage quit. There's no one to. He did rage quit, but there's no one to blame. And then you got a guy saying, "I don't think it's real." So he's getting the brunt of everyone's oh, everyone fucking dying. Yeah. Not, not you know whatever. I don't. What this is this is not a great topic. <laughs> Well, it's yeah, interesting, it makes though. me very sad. It is an interesting topic. Of course. It's terrible. Tate got wrapped up. Tate got wrapped up in what? Sandy Hook? No, no. Just fucking <laughs> yeah. just being the man online. Yeah, he's, you only put your hand so far but, in the cookie jar. But he got in trouble. <laughs> but he can't. He got kicked off everything for what? For saying women are dumb? 
Uh, I think he was kind of what they accused him of was like saying he could beat the shit out of women. No, not even that. I think he was like victim blaming. That was his thing, being like, I don't, I don't know. I never heard the clip. That's like when you read the articles, it was like the stuff that you click the links to was like victim blaming women. They just hate young hustlers, dude. I'm surprised they can just totally destroy him for that. I mean, I'm not. I'm not yeah, I'm not. I'm not totally surprised, but it's like. Oh, a, what you're saying on that? On that, yeah. It's not like he got caught. Like, OJ Simpson's on fucking Twitter. It makes no sense, bro. It makes no sense. It depends on what you have. I mean, Simpson had a lot, but now he has nothing. So it's like, no one gives a fuck. Yeah. Nobody cares. LaBeouf's make it. LaBeouf. Matrix. Matrix thing. Go. Through. Go. Excuse me. Go. Tell me. Go. Okay. Brother. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go. Mm-hmm. He's matrixing through this mm-hmm. whole thing, dude. He's. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. caught a wicked one. A mm-hmm. wicked me too. Mm-hmm. He was. Yeah, he rock him, sock them. Allegedly rock him. Ro- allegedly. No, he came forward and was like, I was being a motherfucker, dude. Boy shit. Yeah, but I think he he did also say like these are, normally I would go around and be like this is a bullshit these are allegations true I think he was still maintaining his innocence but he was like I'm not about that I think he was separating like he was like okay I'll give him that no on that I think he was gonna yeah, go yeah, through yeah. and try to like yeah. salvage the situation but he just said you know what I was fucked up 360 he was fucking his shit was neon bro shit's neon out there well he everybody he's knows he's, he's fucking baggage is at the hotel before he gets there dude. You know, you <laughs> how know. sick is this lingo dude? i can't stand I the lingo i fucking dude. love it i love it so the much the thing that's hard about it is because bernthal and labeouf are the they're the bros yeah dude. they're the best actors clearly they're the coolest dudes yeah like if i could peaky blinder out i would pretend to be john bernthal oh yeah you know how sick i'd be with a full fucking thing be like go brother Go, go, I'm an actor. Go ahead, brother. When actors play That's troops, a terrible burnt all, but you know what I mean, dude. It's pretty pretty good though. When, <laughs> when actors play troops, a switch flips. I think every it gets it, it like takes a piece of them. Forever. I mean, they pretend to be a troop for like a year, and train and pretend. You know, dude, stealing valor. I'm not saying they're stealing valor, but they're. Dude, look what it's happened to Marky Mark. It's <laughs> Marky Mark trooped out in like 30 movies. I know. <laughs> he was, it got to the point where he was like, I would have stopped Flight 93. Fuck I that. Know, know. Like it gets to a point where you're like, I am a fucking Navy SEAL. Now that you mention it, I am shooter. Yeah. Dude. I mean, dude. I would have stopped the Boston Marathon bomb. And they're getting hero pussy because, no offense, but girls don't know real from fake. So there's <laughs> girls have no like, idea. Wait, wait, Mark Wahlberg was a war veteran. Girls see a movie. <laughs> No offense, dude. No, it's not none, <laughs> Matt. None taken. <laughs> and you're telling the truth. My girlfriend thought Legolas was real. <laughs> She's like, I love Lord of the Rings, and I was like, why? She's like, because Legolas. I want to meet Legolas. I said, you. I we were laying right here. I said, you must be the dumbest bitch I've ever met in my life. <laughs> That's what Comic Con is. All the dudes go. Shh, shh, shh. We're gonna take our girlfriends. Do you think these people are? Shh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, babe, wear your costume. We're gonna, you're gonna actually meet fucking Wonder Woman. Go ahead, no, babe. Of course, I never said that, but she did think Legolas was real. <laughs> she screamed when a, a cave troll came on. She's like, ah! I was like, don't, it's not real. She's like, what is that? I've never seen one. I was like, yeah, that's a, it's CGI. <laughs> she said, where's that? Where is CGI where all these things live? <laughs> computers. I was in CGI this weekend. Dude. I was in Chicago this weekend. You were in big time CGI, CGI town, dude. Did they get you? Did anybody try to get you? Try to gra- like get me, get me. Yeah. Nah, we we encountered a stray dog though. We pulled up and a stray pit bull friendly guy. I could tell came up and Brittany was like, "Yeah." I was like, "He's a good boy." I said, "Get out of here, get yeah, get out of here." And he left, scrambled. Yeah. There was a second dude. I was like. Fuck, dude! Great. Now am I, I about a feral pit bull? Might, might I have to level up on a feral pit bull right now and protect my family? <laughs> I could see, dude. I could see in his face. I'm like, that's a friendly little guy. You could run. It'd no, nice he was to run. He was coming up and he was going like, I saw the way he was walking. Brittany's like, I was like, Britt, that's a good guy, right? You sick to run and let your family have to deal with a feral dog? And be like, I was trying to get him to chase me. <laughs> yeah, trying, him to chase trying to lead him. him. Trying to activate his chase. Yeah, hit him with the Jurassic Park, <laughs> the flare. Yeah, dude. He, for a second, I was like, man, that would fucking stink. But yeah, it was cool. We went to yeah, if you had to kill a pit bull with your hands in the street, South Side Chicago. It's I mean, a guy legend, like you, legend brother, shit. You can brother, pull it off. you're a banger. Go, go, go tell me what I would do. Go, go tell me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> did you notice Bernthal did that the whole time? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I saw one of the comments was like, "Yo, it's so great for him to show up and listen." Like we mm-hmm. need it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. I'm not. I don't fuck with that. That's not my shit, dude. But I'm trying to remember. I can't even do their lingo. The lingo is so yeah. Fucking the craft. Well, craft. Craft. It's not even the craft. It's craft. True. Craft, dude. Craft was the most. That was the thing I define myself as. I define myself as craft. Craft. Craft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I like when my girlfriend makes me craft macaroni. I and was cheese. genuinely pleased about Shia LaBeouf's uh, friendship with Mel Gibson. True. That made me very happy to know that Mel was like, bro. You cannot fuck up P.O. Forget all that other bullshit, bro. Yeah, Mel was a fucking Catholic, dude. Dude, took him to Latin Mass. Mel was the one who showed him Latin Mass. And Latin he Mass was, is tight. Booth was like, imagine going to Latin Mass with fucking Mel. My bro loves Latin Mass. Really? My one bro, the, you know, O'Leary, yep. he, yeah. he fucks with it heavy. Bro, I say, yo, I fucks with that heavy. My shit's neon, <laughs> brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother my shit's neon gang dude. shit bro yeah, I'm talking gang shit yo, I'm on that little boy shit I don't even go to church yo anymore. but for real though yo I'm telling you these monks bro freak some lima beans dude they freak them lima <laughs> beans bro. you'll be walking down the hallway they'll be laughing you'll be like yo we're about to freak some lima beans tonight <laughs> what's for dinner tonight yo got them lima beans yeah they'll freak I'm some gummy bears lima beans dude that was left so. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite thing I've ever seen I, I I should have been able to see it because they, they both look oh, cool as shit. Dude, it's so good. It, that actually was kind of touching when he talked about his girl showing up in the Zoom. Yeah, dude, I was that in the was gym. That was actually very touching. I was working out. I almost cried. Yeah, that was nice. Nobody showed up. I fucking, I don't deserve fucking. He's like, I'm being performative. Brother, go, bro. Yeah. Brother, go. Like, Fuck that performative shit. You're being yourself, bro. Yeah, dude. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I burnt all was the man in that fucking show I was watching. The uh, We Own the City. Which are we on the night? We on the city. The, he's a Baltimore cop. He's fucking unbelievably good at it. Yeah, dude. His accent, he gets it perfect. Does he he's really? He's the best cop I've ever, yes. Well, he's, uh, what's the fucking technique? Meisenberg. Method? He's oh, method. Oh, 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 the techniques. I heard them say the techniques. Yeah, he's. I think he's method. So you were on that shit. Meisenberg. I'm not on that shit. I'm more of a dude. boom box. I'm, I'm the fucking man. Oh. I love when he dropped that thing too. Like I've seen you humi humiliate people on set, and he's like, "But mm -hmm. like, I'd love to know the story of that." <laughs> yeah, just a little yeah. boof, just eviscerating yeah. some dude on the set. Yeah, yeah, that's got to be crazy town, dude. He said he's in his thing, just blasting rap on the set of Fury. Like, get the fuck! Why the fuck you're the fucking enemy? Don't fucking be over it here worked, talking. To me. Yeah, whatever those guys did good. worked because Fury is the shit. It's awesome. How about the OG Brad Pitt, dude? Who would have yeah. thought? I just watched Fight Club last night, and then I was listening to that today. I was like, I knew Pitt was the fucking man. The go, dude. Yeah. You can't tell him shit about what? Work? He's sensei? He's absolute sensei with the fucking craft? Yeah. Can't tell him shit about a father? Can't tell him shit about being an Adonis? <laughs> Did you hear that part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't tell him shit about this Adonis shit? See, I'm sensei with the craft, bro. Yeah, I'm sensei. I'm sensei. That fucking had me uh, yeah. so hyped. I'm a G. I'm a G at this. I'm a G, bro. I'm sensei. But he <laughs> he's, talking about about, he's talking about Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> Guard dog was like, he's literally the Transformers. It's like his big <laughs> yeah. Transformers in holes. He's like, I'm a G. I'm a sensei at this. And um, then fucking Honey Boy, he just torched his dad. <laughs> he torched his dad for the crap. But he came up. He, he apologized. He, he, got, he got his fucking got yeah. his eyes fixed. He fixed his eyes. Fixed he bought that. him some weed. He's dying from smoking. He bought him. No, but then his dad was getting sober with him. His dad was getting sober. I'm rooting for him. I'm not. Yeah, I'm I not know, trying. I know. I'm it not was bashing. so fucking funny. I don't funny. condone that. I was giggling. I was watching that going, Jesus Christ, this is the funniest thing I've yeah. ever seen. But I'm happy for the guy. Happy for LaBeouf. Happy for Bernthal that he's- I hope. it's It sounds it sounds untenable for a long period of time to continue to act like whatever those two dudes were acting like. Jeez, yeah, they're straight jeez, dude. Straight up they're straight fucking cholos, dude. dude. On the West Coast, Just white dudes, actor cholos, white dudes do that, man. On the West Coast, yeah, they gravitate towards cholos. The the Filipinos have the lads go to they go to California and assimilate as cholos. Yeah. Partners, Filipinos, bro, they're full fucking cholos there. That's who you ride with in jail, though. True. The Norteños. Or Hey, can I take a second to call you and tell you about Hamilton Devices? It's, it's really, it takes take two seconds. It's for my job. They're, they're going to fire me. Just please let me just do this. I got people coming in and out. Two seconds, we're, dude. We're a trash place here, bud. Thank you. I know all about that. Thank you for Hamilton Devices for sponsoring this. Uh, it, Hamilton Devices offers unique vapes at great... Hey, I'm sorry. I think we got disconnected. I was telling you about Hamilton Devices. I love them. I vape them every day, especially their Starship. 
They offer unique vapes at great prices. The Starship vape, like I talked about, is small and discreet, and it hits like a dab. And they make hands-free vapes called the Gamer. Wear it, vape it, and charge it all at the same time. They even have the vapes that look like old-timey tobacco pipes. Go to HamiltonDevices.com and use promo code DRENCH15 for 15% off. Buyers must be 21 or older. Shipping not available to Vermont, Kentucky, Oregon, or Belize. But look up Hamilton Devices in your local smoke shop. For everyone else, that's HamiltonDevices.com and use code DRENCH15 for 15% off. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ma'am? Yeah? I appreciate you letting me do that. Yeah, well, I, I get to live one more day. Love you. Say that again? I said thank you for letting me do that. That's my job. I'm a salesman. And I love you for letting me do that. You're a good woman. You're, welcome. You're a good woman, and I appreciate you. I would love to chill and ride with the Nortenios. So if you're in Cal, if you're in the California prison system, dude, you're riding the South Side. I mean, I had the Pisces. keys to the pe- Pueblos. Dude. True. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy had the keys to the Pueblos, dude. And I was on some little boy shit. Yeah, that thing was all about me, ego. Uh-huh. And he was doing that for that was for the people. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck. Uh-huh. But he still fucked with me, dude. He saw something in me. Dude, that's <laughs> he the saw that I was a real one. He knew I was a monster. <laughs> that was sick when he, when he was like talking about being down in the school in the hood. And he was just sitting there talking. Oh, the dudes in the hood are like, nah, you ain't having this here unless people from our zip code can come up on this. And I'm like, uh-huh. And then he went over. Uh-huh. And he went over. He talked to him. He schooled him on some shit. But the funniest part is like. Tell, people in the neighborhood, the, the, you know. He's like, I'm down there. You got these white people down there all whacked out. He's like, I mean. I mean, I'm not a square. I can get down. I can get down. Obviously, I got jumped into the gang. I got jumped oh, in. Oh, yeah, I got guy's jumped in in a parking lot. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. That was a quick, that like just. Shy got jumped in in a parking lot once. Yeah, he's in a fucking gang. <laughs> but that was, I'll give <laughs> him that. He definitely rolled up on some cholos and he was like, I want to join a gang. And they were just like, all right, we're about to beat the shit out of the kid from fucking holes. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. He's I'm, affiliated. I'd like to see this. I'm pretty excited to yeah, see this. Yeah, dude. I will say I'm I'm very pumped for LaBeouf and I'm I'm pumped for dudes just dudes of that caliber. Just yeah. them being on that, I'm, it's pumping me up. Burnthal, I didn't know was I mean, I've I've been a huge fan for a while. I, I didn't know he was on that LaBeouf G level where it's like, oh, this guy's gonna continue to be great. Was he not called? I don't know what his thing was. I yeah. hope maybe. He knows Probably. about hurt and his family. He knows about hurt. He also might have felt it. I don't. I'm not going to besmirch the man, but you're in fury. Probably have some girlfriends. Girlfriends? Maybe. I don't know. I don't besmirch the man. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to besmirch him. I don't want to. I don't want to speculate as to how he devastated his family. I'm glad they're back together. How do you say Labouf? I just say Labouf. I just let it fly. Am I saying it right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Dude, he's with the he's with the gang in them, bro. I see the vatos in him. <laughs> Yeah, what is that? Paper, Don't do that on camera. It's a paper football field goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You guys talk about that, dude. I'm, I'm staying Oh, out that's because he did uh, that gangster movie. He's not fucking Stanislavski, dude. He's not on that shit at all. He's not. People say that about him. He's not at all. <laughs> What's that? He kept throwing up gang signs to, <laughs> to paparazzi. <laughs> and take a knee and <laughs> hit the fucking... <laughs> That's yeah. he's the best. LaBeouf's the best. I mean, he obviously is. the man made some mistakes, but he's coming back on it. He's coming back around. It yeah. must have stunk while he was in rehab and nobody would show up to those zooms. Yeah, it's really everyone else's family sad, comes. Yeah, but then his babe showed up. I mean, that's as good as it gets. LaBeouf's the man. Yeah, I also took it was a big man to come forward and be like, "Yo, I completely flamed my dad." I don't know if I like Chris Pine with long hair. Who is that guy? The guy from Star Trek. Oh, uh, is that the guy that, yeah, I saw. That allegedly got spit on by Harry Styles? Yeah, I saw that. Allegedly? We don't want to get sued by Harry Styles. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like Harry Styles. Maybe jizz just <laughs> fell out of Harry Styles' Harry mouth. Styles probably, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think a Jesus. bunch of jizz fell out of Harry Styles' <laughs> fucking gay <laughs> mouth. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, shit. Chris Pine has monkey pox now. He might, get jizz Sid reflu- he might get jizz Sid reflux, dude. He probably is like, Whoa. Absolutely. <laughs> fuck. Absolutely. A load comes up every now and again. He's just making out with Kroll. He kissed <laughs> Kroll and then spit on a guy. and He's wearing. He's dressed like a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are we allowing like? And people just kind of put up with it. They're like, "Oh, he's an artist. He's crazy." It's like, dude, he's a fucking pop star. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not a fan. Give him a knuckle sandwich. Not a fan. I'm more like Labouf Burnthal type Hollywood. That's more Those my, are my speed. Guys. That's more my speed, dude. I like the Batos, <laughs> the white Batos that are fucking. Uh, you're gonna like this. I got under some guys' crawls at the Notre Dame Ohio State game. What happened? So we go in there first. I'm with it's me, Tommy Beezer, O'Connor, and my buddy Joe. And I was like, 
Tommy better not fucking talk shit and get us in trouble. Yeah. Like I hope these guys can control themselves. Literally as soon as we walk in the stadium, I'm hammered. I'm I'm talking I was just about to ask screaming you, talking shit. Where were you guys on the meter? But not I wasn't saying anything mean. I just kept referring because they have a Ohio State's field is state life field mm -hmm. sp sponsored by mm -hmm. uh go state life <laughs> you know safe light yeah, safe yeah, light yeah. repair Insurance or some shit safe light replay it's a fucking windshield replacement company oh okay is their field it says Ohio State on one side safe light <laughs> repairs safe light replace on the other so I was as soon as we got in there I was like whoa safe light field that safe light fields rocking tonight very funny I just kept yelling safe light field and these four dudes identical to us they were just the ohio state version of us were in front of us like they were pissed <laughs> they were fuming and then God, five, damn, they just funny. wouldn't shut up or they they like started to like be like yeah all right i was like you like safe light he was like i like touchdowns <laughs> that's what he said i was like touchdowns brought to you by safe light <laughs> I, just, I just kept doing everything ohio state did like there was one play where the dude like fell forward and then kept going it was extra effort I was like, this extra effort is brought to you by Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Oh, it's such a good move. Yeah, just making fun of him for being corporate. Just a, there's just a stadium alone. Yeah. It it's a nice. windshield wiper thing? It's a fucking windshield replacement thing. Yeah, Your windshield like, gets chipped. Uh, Top, they're supposed to be the football team of in the, the greatest in the land. I know I keep bringing up. they got a fucking up, windshield you know, sponsor. Did you ever see the movie Cars? The one guy has like a lame ass fucking shitty. Keep bringing backwards. up kids movies. It's good. It's bad. It's fucking. It's Rusty's. The one guy has I know like Rusty. a backwards. Isn't that Larry the cable guy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's what? Mater. Toe Mater. Mater. Right. Yeah, they make fun of him. It's, they have like a lame ass backwards fucking sponsor. Yeah. It's just some bullshit stupid company. Yeah. Should be like something big. Like should be big. Lincoln Financial. Ohio State should be Pepsi. Yeah, exactly. It should be yeah. Oscar Mayer Arena. Fucking. It should be Oscar Mayer Stadium. Marvel presented Stadium. Presented by Marvel Stadium. Yeah, dude. The guys in fucking Melbourne had Yeah, that. not like the crazy glue arena. <laughs> yeah, like, it really was. Safe Light could be the <laughs> dumbest fucking field I've ever seen. Oh. Uh, and then Notre Dame was actually winning at half, and it was it was oh. looking it was looking nice, dude. It was Fuck. starting to look nice. There was some chirping going on. And then I forget what these dudes said. They said something about like their wealth. Or like, oh, a bunch of rich Notre Dame guys, huh? A bunch of fucking that. And I was like, yeah, dude, yeah, a bunch of blue-collar Ohio State guys. Let me see those calloused hands, boys. Working boys, Ohio oh. boys. Like, it was it was getting vicious, dude. And then... how they, Who else was chiming in? I don't imagine talking O'Connor was next to me, and then the four guys were right there. There was an old woman in front of us who complained immediately about me saying safe light. She was like, could you guys please keep it down? My 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 mother's here. And it's it's like, dude, the state, there's 120,000 people screaming Fuck here. That, the loudest dude. place I've ever been. Yeah. You're being a baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was crazy. <laughs> but then they started playing... Uh, Zombie Nation that oh, oh, oh. and I yeah, was yeah. like yo yo play Penn State song play the Penn State song we are Penn State and they got mad at that then they tried to play the Mets trumpet thing when Edwin Diaz comes out I was like yo the Mets song dude this is sick you guys play Mets Penn State safe flight <laughs> like just kept you're like nothing you have is original dude you guys stink oh <laughs> yeah it was fun and then Notre Dame lost. Those, those boys didn't say a word. They jetted out. It was strictly business for them. Really? Yeah, shout out to those dudes from Ohio that they did jet out. And before things got heated, after the safe light thing, I did try to like tap no, him yeah. tap him, and be like, yo. Come on, boys. We're just joking. I'm just joking around. My yeah. bad on that. And he was like, don't fucking touch me. <gasps> I was like, all right, safe light repairs. It's on, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, he was grumpy. Kenny, you couldn't just have fun and jest. Couldn't have fun, and it's not like just about the sport. I was in there being like, "Fuck Ohio State." I was literally going safe life field. Yeah, but that like safe life field, baby. I couldn't imagine. I can't, I'm trying no. to figure out like because it is a that's a more subtle diss where you're like, the "Fuck." Yeah, it's like, I trying? guess I never realized how corny it is that our field is safe life. Is that an attack on our is way that of something life? To make fun of us <sighs> for our windshield replacement field. I mean, that is like a very subtle dig on the Midwest, though. Something bland and stupid. Yeah. It's being like, oh, fuck the Midwest. You heard it. That's you fair. heard me. I fuck Ohio against, State, dude. Against Midwest all day. Although fans were nice. I thought they were going to be giant cunts. But then when you have a bunch of docile pussies like Notre Dame fans coming in, everyone's yeah. every Notre Dame fans in there like, you guys are going to kill us. Although I was saying that, too. I was like, you guys are definitely going to kill us. I, can't I wore yellow. I wore yellow gym shorts. I thought I was going to I, I was nervous wearing them to campus. Why? I was like, right when I get out, someone's gonna be like, "Nice yellow shorts, you fat fucking pussy." <laughs> like, you wore the gold. 
I wore the gold. I, I had the blue and gold on, dude. Yeah, you wore the gold. Yeah. <laughs> I had to support the team. You <laughs> made fun of the stadium. Making fun of the stadium is fine. You're allowed to make fun of the field. That was, uh, I'm obviously not comparing you to Zarkawi, but that was a genius move. You were bringing, you. you were bringing down, you were attacking their core. Yeah, I wanted, at to, a very subtle I wanted level. them to be like, yeah, we also hate, they definitely hate that it's Safe Light Field. Oh, I fucking was bothered. That would bother the fuck out of me if Notre Dame had a giant sponsorship logo on the field. It was fucking safe light repairs. Like, dude, how much are they paying us? <laughs> like, don't do this for 80 grand or whatever. This this has to be the cheapest spot. It's safe light repairs, dude. It's goo. It's goo. It's a guy driving to your house to fix your chipped windshield. Oh, it's good business. It is nice. I've used safe light repair. I actually love safe yeah, light repair, really? safe light replace. It's definitely a subsidiary of Wayne Industries, dude. I yeah, might start throwing that up. Fucking. That's why I support it. Oh, start repping Wayne Industries. <laughs> 9.2 billion a year. <laughs> According to Forbes. <laughs> According to Forbes. Batman's worth. Yeah. No, Chicago is sick, dude. I got to do, uh, I did wowing out in the backyard. Yeah, you told me about this and I, I truly felt terrible for you. Dude, it was, I don't know. It was one of those things. I was sitting there. I'm like, I, I won't possibly pick me for this. Obviously, and they're going to pick you. They got me, bro. So explain this entire thing. So we're just at a barbecue. We're at a cousin's barbecue. You're at the barbecue. I'm at the barbecue. Yes. Walk in. You're Paul Walker. P dubs, bro. You're Paul Walker. I'm P dubs. I walk yeah. in. I fucking Paul Walker definitely would have ascended to Burnthal, Shia LaBeouf. He was on his way. He was already kind of doing it. He was wearing like white tall tees. <laughs> <laughs> he was kind of already there. Dude. He was well respected in the streets, in the street racing community. Well, yeah, if we obviously in the Mexican everyone's street racing girlfriend, community. Everyone, all the cholo girlfriends are like, that white boy's crazy. Yeah, they're, they're like, that white boy, that white boy can't race. Boy, that white boy crazy. That white boy can't race. <laughs> Something about him is different. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, uh, yeah. Damn, you know how nice it would be to be nice at driving like that? Like, if I was fucking a NASCAR dude, I'd be like, fuck this. I'm going out. I'm finding the underground. I need to be around the bros. You know what I mean? I mean, dude, I don't want to besmirch the man's legacy. It clearly went to his head. The fast the FF went to his head. Oh, yeah. He, he did try to hit that street life race. Thought in shit real was life. Sweet. He thought shit was sweet, dude. He thought fifth gear was sweet. Unfortunately, that sucks. Yeah, my, oh, there's nothing funny about the man. There's nothing demise. funny about this. There's nothing funny about the man. About demise. Paul Walker, the star of a Fast and Furious franchise, dying in a fucking car <laughs> accident. That's not funny. Do you think he did he? What was did anyone get a picture of the car he wrecked? Yeah, I think it was. A, was there glow, was there glowing ground effects? I think it was a cool car. Was it like a FF car or just some regular ass? I don't know. That would have been as soon as you're saying it, I'm thinking of a lime green fucking Fast and Furious car, but I don't think that's the case. There's no way. Yeah, it was probably like a Porsche. Yeah, I think it was a Porsche. Probably a Porsche or a Bugatti. I think it was a beautiful Porsche. Or maybe a Bugatti. It was a red Porsche. Red Porsche. Yeah, I, maybe it was a Bugatti. That must suck, dude, when you realize, like, when you fu- I guess it was in, in, pretty instantaneous, so. <laughs> we lost control. I take everything Porsche. I said back. Some random dude has my number and just said, OH, and then he used the F slur against me. <gasps> and then a couple of weeks ago, he said, Ohio State's going to whoop that ass. And then a week before that, he said, can I tell you an animated skit I have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Yo, bro, can I give you a skit? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck Ohio State, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, it was sick. So we walk in, I stare down a pit bull outside, and I'm like, the fuck away from my family, dude. Yeah, you, hold on. I got to hear about the, the BBQ. That led okay. up. That's the type of time. So you already, you already mad dogged an actual mad dog. That's the time. You <laughs> one up the dog. That was the type of time I was on. Yeah. I walk in, I get the fuck away from my family. Walk into the barbecue, chilling in the back. Just, yeah. You know, made man. Bottle of water, vape pen, just chilling. You're a made man. <laughs> man shit, dude. Man shit. Man shit. It's like, I'm on, not some little boy shit. I'm on man shit. Yeah. I walk in. My social anxiety is on 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> Total man shit. Legit man shit. I'm just like, uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> there's, there's, how, how cool do you play it when you're there? I just chill. Do you like, are you like, is there a part of you that is chilling? Uh, no. It, well, there's nothing perform. There's got to be some slight performative action. For sure. There's no for, way you can go into that as the only honky at a well, you, barbecue you, in Chicago. To be like, I'm not going to even try to pretend I'm in my head. Like, is a performance in and of itself. Of course. So, like, I just chill. I mean, having kids is kind of sick. Cause like, gives you something to do. Yeah. Before, I would just sit by myself and be like, yeah, and just hang out. It's like, what am I gonna sit there? Like, the music's blasting. Yeah. Always. Which we got to step up the DJs at white parties. We'd never have DJs. Are you sure? 
It's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure blasting rap at a fucking barbecue with family members is cool? Because if I do it at a party, people get angry. <laughs> if I do it into my car, people are like, what are you listening to? Well, you got to work. You got you to spin. You got to. Like, this is YG. The like, DJ's got to know off. the crowd. The DJ's got to know the crowd. Yeah. There, it is. It is pretty crazy, though, to watch that. But the. Um, yes, yeah, so I walk. Yeah. So you kind of just. I just chill. I like. I just sit there and play with Maya. Um, and you just chill and you're just kind of like, cause you get this feeling like, dude, am I ruining this party? Cause it kind of with, stinks. With your whiteness. Exactly. Or, or just a, being like a white dude, like is the party not. You're in a space. You're in a POC space. I'm in a space. You dude. have ruined it. I do feel like I've been, ki- I'm kind of taking the I party I bet they're kind of stoked you're there. Depends. Oh no. Some, no, some obviously like, dude, like her family's nice as fuck. I know my family, when a black dude's at the party, they're like, this is sick. I didn't realize how cool this party was going to be. That's but that's a V. They're kind of like, oh, we're, they're not under any pressure to be diverse whatsoever. Uh, kind of okay. under the opposite pressure of like, dude, yeah, fuck yeah. these guys. Literally every single <laughs> magazine is like, black people need to stick to themselves. <laughs> Get these whites out of there. Oh, and the south side of Chicago has its own history <laughs> where it's complete, dude, it's like completely segregated. Yeah. No exaggeration. Yeah. Completely. So I'm a, literally a curiosity. And then it's like happen to be at your house now people are like fuck god damn it yeah we rolled, I see. we rolled the sorry dice and the honk dude the honk's, the honks here. here being a fucking honk he's sitting there i mean it could all be in my head but i'm like dude their neighbors are probably like yeah that vape pen has to hurt that was good i can't even fucking imagine dude, dude well the thing is i'm just sitting there drinking water because we're only just you, you should know. roll a blunt i could that's what that's much more like that's steel and valor though i don't smoke blunts uh, they the one time I was a joint. I was chilling on my vape pen. I'll smoke a joint if I'm there, but I'm if I I don't I wasn't carrying like papers and weed around on me. I know, but I'm saying I'm not saying and there's nothing wrong with hitting the vape. Yeah, but sitting there chilling. The bros, the bros will clown on me. They're you like, can hit a vape real quick shit. and put it away. Yeah, if you're just sitting there chiefing a fucking joint. Well, that if, is respectable. The, the one family, if I go over there, they they would you want always, me to show up. They would roll me a joint. They would roll I'll me a show joint. Them get drunk or one fa- thing that's cool or one cousins would always roll me a joint because i don't smoke blunts yeah so that'd be sick we'd smoke weed and hang out but i would never i'm not gonna like be like i'm gonna smoke weed for this occasion specifically because yeah. the, dude there is like i i dude i feel like black dudes are under so much pressure to be cool as fuck all the time like dude it's just casual shit man shit we're at a backyard yeah. party and i'm like dude are these guys like it, it's almost it's like a level of effort of like coolness yeah just like pfft, all, and i'm sitting there just going like Looking around like, I'll have another small bottle of water. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, all right, we'll be here for an hour. It was cool. The food was good. We're hanging out, having a good time. Mai's playing with like her little cousins and stuff. So I'm sitting there just chilling like, all right, got this, dude. I got I got this shit on lock, dude. Yeah. Holding the baby. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, they're like, we're playing. I, I saw people wearing Wild and Out t-shirts. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't know, whatever. All of a sudden, like, we're playing Wild and Out. The one dude, the one or one cousin's right, DJ. How do you get into Wild and Out? How do you get into the playing it? They just, this was their idea. This was like a game. They at the were party. literally wearing they wild and out t shirts. The, the owners, yeah. Husband and wife comp. They were going to face each other in a wild and out battle and then have all their friends come and play wild and out in the backyard. Yeah. So I'm like, whatever. Sitting there, all of a sudden, her one aunt's like, massive comedian, pick Matt. And I went, no. <laughs> no. You guys aren't going to get my comedy. <laughs> Dude, they got, they got, so they picked me. I'm on the team. I'm like, fuck this, man. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this at all. Social anxiety has reached a new... It actually broke. I think my meter broke. Yeah. Because I just went like, at this point, you can't fight it. Can't be corny and be like, oh, I'm a, I mean, also, I was like, I could just be like, no. They picked me. I said, and her, her, I love her one aunt so much. And I'm like, I can't go against her. Can't break her. her heart. I love her. I really do love this yes. lady. And I'm like, I'm not going to let her down. I'm going to wild out. Yeah. So I go. I'm she wild now. I'm chilling. I'm hitting the vape. Now, at this point, Brittany hit me with the vape. I said, yes, please. Thank you. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need to get silly. I started hitting the vape. Get I was like, silly. Yes, please. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yes, that's mine. Thank you. I want that. The uh <laughs> you guys do freestyle battles? <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> dude. So holy shit. No offense. This is hell. Uh, no, it's untaken. Wild dude. out in a backyard. Yeah. With family with your, your, your ladies. Family. Your family, your in-laws. Yeah, dude. Wilding out with the in-laws. I was wilding out. Did you hit anyone with some vicious fucking freestyles? No. So here's what happened. I was like, I was like, all right. I actually, I always underestimate myself. And I, whenever I do a thing, this is how I approached when I did like open mics. Yeah. You're like, I can never do this. And you watch other people do it. And you go, I could do that. I, I could. I'm not going to be terrible. Yeah. 
Dude, so I'm, I'm the second guy. The first people go, and all you got to do is, it's called, you go back and forth. So you have to just do one bar. Yeah, one bar. So they bar. give you the thing, one bar. They had a category, our team wins. I'm like, all right, nice. I'm next. So they go, all right, the topic is growing up black. Go, Matt. I was like, <laughs> ah. You should have said, I know you think I don't know what this is, but I know about FDI statistics. <laughs> do you think they would have thought they think they would have thought it was funny no. so, I, so i was because in my head i was like i had literally 20 seconds oh my god and i could have could just been like nope not doing it yeah. dude, let me hear it i know you spurred i know you spurred dude you tried to say something you tried to you know this had to be the gayest shit of all time what did you say what did you say dude oh uh, no Oh, God. What did I say? My I, brother, I would have done the same. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what you I said. You had to hold it down, G. I did, dude. Fucking, I, <laughs> you know, I said, growing up black, I wouldn't know about that. But maybe my kid does. What? <laughs> That's what I said. That's not good. And <laughs> they had an actor. The one cousin was DJing. But, and I lost that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy. I had five seconds. I had five seconds. I was, dude, my instinct was like, make a rhyme about how being white rules. And I was like, don't do that I know, right now. That's the, exactly. That's, like, that's the joke. It would have, but you uh, can't do it. On the, dude, you don't, you don't think on the way home, I was like, you want to Oh, I'd be home. thinking about it nonstop. I was, no, I was, I was, I was the Eminem on the bus right home. Have you come up with any better ones? <laughs> yeah, you're like writing it. <laughs> yeah, like a thousand, dude. Yeah. <laughs> How, well, uh, can you think of, can you give me some? <sighs> um, if, if you can take had, it all back. What I had was, uh, Growing up, wait, hold on, hold on, dude. I'm, I'm, so the category got, is I'm all growing up, up black. Bro. I'm all out of my bag dude, right now. Dude, that must have been the worst thing in the world. Dude, he hit me with the category, and I went, nah, what's, what is it for real? He goes, that's category. And I went, oh, you motherfucker. And I had to go first. I had to go first. Not a victory. But, you know, there's those lessons of life. You know, that's that's the part of life that that's humbles life, you. That's life, dude. It's I an went, ego death. It was fully an ego death. You can't death, be a man dude. until you die. <laughs> it was fully an ego You died. Death. I had to be oh, like, dude. How bad was it? Did you have to walk back to the end of the line? No, we just we sat in our spots. Okay. I, I just, I took it gracefully, though. I did go. I was like, yeah, you guys got me. And I, just yeah, yeah. I did laugh it off. Like, yeah, what do you want me to do? So the. Uh, you go, I don't know what it's like growing up black, but maybe my kid does. <laughs> it was something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Growing That's not up a black, good call. I don't know about that. But maybe my kid understands about half or something. Or something. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> what the fuck? That was fire. Yo, man, man, man. That was I don't good. Think it came off right. I don't know. I was timid. It was something I don't. I don't want to reverse the sense. There's of time. no doubt that was. There had to be some trepidation. You'd be very. I was timid, trembling, dude. Bro. I was trembling. But it was something of that sort. But it didn't come off. Didn't come off good. You know what's funny? Weren't you just talking to Ron about this on? Yes, dude. Yeah. Yes. Everything I say, I'm like, I'd hate for that to happen. It always fucking happens, like, instantly. Uh, yeah, I'm dealing with that right now. Are you? Yeah. I was on Rogan talking about how I got cold sores from my paw drinking out of the orange juice. I got a cold sore brewing, dude. What? I'm devastated. I'm so mad about it. I haven't had one in a long time. I'm very, very sad about it. It ruined my fucking day. I got to go to... I'll be sitting cage side with fucking herpes. <laughs> You're going to see my fat head the entire fight night at UFC. I don't even see anything. It's coming. I can feel it. Oh, you feel it for me. I can feel it. Do you get, this, get the stuff? I got the stuff. I'm well, working wait, on What's it. your origin story? You sipped OJ? I mean, my dad my dad got a cold sores. He munched. He, he would constantly drink out of the milk and out of the orange juice <laughs> with open cold what sores. A beast, what a sack of shit. That's kind of what LaBeouf's getting to I mean, for. we've talked about this before. I've had cold sores since I was a kid. I didn't know that was the origin story. I mean, I didn't. I don't know what else it could be. It had to be from drinking out of the milk. Could be, yeah. Unless me and my dad, unless something I blocked out happened. Me and my dad, <laughs> unless me and my dad kissed after a St. Joe's Chargers After your first game. communion. Dude. <laughs> yeah, after my St. Joe's communion. He said, you're a man now, son. This is man shit, dude. This is, you know, that little boy shit not kissing your dad, not being gay with your dad, dude. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe my, <laughs> my sexuality comes from him. He would tuck me in at night and then go to his room. Then you start flashing the lights and go, it's feeding time. <laughs> you go, rip, rip. <laughs> you would run into my room. It's all coming back. <laughs> you got to do your honey boy. Dude, move, do a movie about your dad viciously molesting you and giving you cold racist. swords. And then just be like, yo, my no, bad. I literally, sorry, I, I willed a cold sword, dude. I talked about it on uh, Rogies. Now I have it. Yeah. And uh, it's coming. I can feel it coming in. And now I got to do, I'm doing Red Rocks next week. 
there's gonna be a giant the Megatron <laughs> Megatron of my fucking face to ten thousand people. <laughs> Dude. You know how much that sucks? <laughs> I hope I can beat this culture. I've never beaten one. Get once. the Abreva stuff. I have the Abreva stuff. I'm using it. But I've had these, I have the most sensitive skin of all time. Like if I get a cut, it's scar. I'll, I'll have a fucking scar there for three months. Damn. Yeah. So happened to me with psoriasis recently. I was like, fucking psoriasis. Who the fuck gets that? I'd been getting it for like a year, not even knowing yeah. what it was. I was like, yo, I got some fucking dry shit on my skin. It's fucking bothering me. I mean, I, yeah, got I, that. I champed through that. No problem. Yeah, it's whatever. I just have, I'll have a patch of dry skin. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, all right, whatever. That's, that's just on me now. Forever. Dude, now they gave me the cream. It goes away right away. There's dudes that can operate with cold tours like it's nothing. Uh, dude, I know. They're, they're, that would go out and be like, not mention it. I'll if if this thing actually breaks out, it's the only thing I'm going to talk about for the next week. <laughs> Every con- I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm going to go like this the whole time. <laughs> I might wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> I might wear a COVID mask. That would be sick. Or get more get more like tasteful. Like uh, we talked about doing the true. Maybe I should just wear a, like an anonymous mask, dude. Yeah, this is an anonymous. That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> We talked it's about scream mask. We talked about guy. What's, up? What's up, Red Rocks? <laughs> Red Rocks. <laughs> like, dude, my fucking girlfriend. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> do a Trump impression oh of scream mask <laughs> and Red Rocks to hide my herpes. <laughs> that sucks, dick, dude. Oh, oh, dude. So I didn't get. So we got that was the first. That was yeah. Blow. Sorry, but, I shouldn't have brought it up. Now I even regret telling anybody. Cold sores. I'm so embarrassed about my cold sore. Why? I don't know. It's a shameful thing. I dude, I and the older I'm getting, the more shameful they're getting. Really? Yeah, of course. When you're a young boy, you have it. You don't care. Don't know what it is. You have yeah. no idea what it is. You don't care at all. Yeah. As an adult man, although it's weird, I don't see kids with cold sores. Maybe I'm not looking at too many kids. Maybe I gotta look I've at never, more kids. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't. I've now never I have seen a cold them. sore. I might head down to the local school and watch recess. Just see. Just I just want to see if any of the kids have herpes. That's Guess all. The <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah. I, I woke up today. Uh. Actually, it started last night. I could. I woke up and I was like, "Oh no, dude!" Like I could feel it coming. Was it like a bump? Yeah, it's like a. You can feel it. it. Feels almost like a zit that's about to, like a big zit. When you you know how like when you like touch, mm-hmm. like where you can feel it. You can feel it, and it, it's like, "Oh, this is gonna be a giant pimple on my fucking face." Yeah, yeah. I get a lip pimple every now and again, but I, it just it's not it doesn't like break open. I know what the difference is, and then <clears throat> there's also like a weird slight tingling. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so God. I have that going right now, and I'm sad about it. Get these stuff. You put the stuff on it. I did. I put the stuff on already. It doesn't I'm gonna work. Continue to put the stuff on. I think all that does is speed it up. Yeah, shortens how long you have it. A little time lapse, boy. There's. I. I think there's no denying that it's gonna be a cut on my lip. <sighs> Fucking blame pirates for that. Pirates brought, brought that shit. Pirates brought it back from the Moogles. Fuck that one lady. But um, <laughs> yeah. I woke up today. I had to go do my gay workout. <laughs> Woke up today with a cold sore. I had to walk in the rain down to the gym. Oh. I was fat again in the gym, dude. I keep showing up fat as <laughs> shit in there. <laughs> and then, yeah, I had to walk back in the rain. Sad about having herpes. It's going to ruin the whole thing, dude. This is supposed to be the best thing ever. I'm supposed to go to the Nate Diaz fight and then go to the Red Rocks. Now I'm going to have herpes the whole time. You might not, though. <clears throat> What's historically? How many days are we talking? I think a long fucking time. I haven't had one in a while. Oh, really? I think it takes a long time, like seven days of like a sore on your ah, fucking. Okay. Yeah, exactly how long I'm going to be on this trip. Yeah. Get some makeup. I'm not going to do a Shia LaBeouf did, dude. I'm not going to cover up my herpes. Is that what he did? He cover them? He, well, I know he hid them. He allegedly. Hid them. Allegedly. Well, he's, he no, did. he says he wouldn't tell his girlfriends about it. He said he was so ashamed that he wouldn't tell. I don't. Th- I, first off, if I had a like a mouth cold, her, general herpes, I think is a lot different. I think you got to spill the beans on that. He said he had the, the, spill the beans is making me laugh. You're saying <laughs> d- dudes on uh, Veritas <laughs> spill the beans. Dudes in button down shirts <laughs> to get like four beers, <laughs> spill the beans. Like, oh yeah, we're not hiring Catholics. <laughs> uh, Veritas fucking rules. I can't. Should I just go red lipstick? Just, in, <laughs> just fucking bright red lips. Come out with a kiss mask and be like, "Are you ready to fucking run?" Right, right, right. The joke was sit front row at sit cage side at UFC with a mask and a visor. 
<laughs> and a Biden t-shirt. That would be hilarious. And now, now that I'm trying to cover up my mouth herpes. Oh my god. Do it. Be COVID it out. Do you have like the scrub have like the dentist paper shit on you? Yeah. Be completely scrubbed out. <laughs> You have to lift it and pull it down to drain it <laughs> and just keep doing that. Or just rock it. It's like, I'm going to have to closer. rock it. I, I, I'm envious of dudes who rock it. I've seen dudes just fully like a guy with a cold sword just chilling. Yeah, it's rock star energy. Didn't you just have a cold sword chilling? Wasn't that you? Isn't that who I'm thinking of? I think he might be. I mean, yeah, I, you were cold sword. We were walking outside, and I was like, "Oh shit, he's got a cold yeah, sword." Yeah, he can put him under that rug on his face. I know. I have this <laughs> tiny. He's got that herpes hider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you don't. I don't get him on the upper part. Oh, you get him on the lower. Yeah, yeah. I get him on the lower. But you got one on the lower. Mm-hmm. Was yours from your daddy as well? <laughs> yeah, my daddy's gets them. Your daddy's gets them, and now I get them. Uh, so honestly, proud of you for maybe, we, maybe we fuck it. Maybe our dads t- t- gave us a little stepson swap. You ever watch those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe your dad maybe our dads got together and they were like <laughs> they were sitting on the pool you and me were in the pool frolicking they were like hey your boy's growing up i said let's take him inside give him a spin he's pretty good out there on the field let's take him for a spin he's like yeah i kind of always wanted a quieter bookish one what's that like <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's like to have a big thick boy in there <laughs> oh man whoa that old box spring <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I'm so fucking sad. Bro. Oh, dude, I didn't tell you about my like, glorious sad. comeback. Yes. Yeah. So you so, just you just dropped the bars of the century. I got said, I don't know what it was like growing up black, but I think my daughter will understand half. I, something like that. That's pretty fucking good. Hey, but I don't. I think I jumbled the line. I think that was the idea. And of I, course. It just, I How could you deliver that line perfectly? I botched it under that type of pressure. I botched it, and everyone. Uh, okay. And I went. Uh, all right. You guys got me. You should have said, "Fuck you guys." Fuck you, dude. It's, fuck this. You should have said, "All you. Why don't you guys stop rapping?" <laughs> <laughs> And run. This is fucking bullshit. You should have anyway. run out of the party. Oh my god, dude! I should have, but I, I said okay, fair enough. You know, it's multiple rounds. Hopefully, I don't have to dance at all. Yeah, hopefully I, next round. I, you're I like, side geography, said- geography. <laughs> <laughs> they had uh yeah, they had the next round was people had to put water in their mouth and not laugh and not laugh. That's very fun, dude. That was fun. We used to do that in high school in the cafeteria. Dude, that's when I came. I'm like, it was genuinely. I was like, what the fuck? I dude, it was so fucking. No, that's funny. so fun. It was so fucking funny. Because they're sitting there. This is a family event. And like the one, people are going back. People stink so bad. They're just like, wasn't getting any laughs at all. It was, no, literally. Dude, it's so nice when you're doing that. All you have to do is just point to the, point to somebody that's kind of funny. Yeah. Like if you and me were doing it, looking at Gardini, just being like, <laughs> it's unstoppable. <laughs> but dude, it's. Because whoever you point out goes, what the fuck? <laughs> dude, it's microphone, DJ. So it was a like performative yeah. aspect. So you have water, but then somebody else. I didn't have else, any water. The two people had water and, and we had to go to try to make them laugh. laugh. Nice. So dude, it, for some reason, everyone went sexual. I get it. The pressure's on. People start being like, you know, just. Open mic. Real sexual shit. Open mic. I'd seen it before. I'm a vet, bro. Yeah. I've seen it before. I said, okay, I'm about to take this to the next level. So I'm seeing everyone go do weird sexual stuff as everyone's nervous. <laughs> So then I, uh, so I go up, I just played off that dude. I went on, I was like, I seen a lot. I was like, a lot of you guys are threatening sexual aggression on one another. <laughs> I was like, well, I wonder, uh, I was like, I don't think I could do that. But if I had to take a pick, I don't know. Cause it was a man and a wife combination. I was yeah. like, it's kind of a lose lose. If I were to be sexual, it'd be very uncomfortable either way. If I were sexual to the woman or the man present and dude, it's like Brittany's cousins and people started giggling nice. and they were just sitting there like, what the fuck? Yeah. They were like, that was actually pretty good. That was pretty good. Nice. I was like, I don't know. Should I pull down this man's pants? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> they've never seen it before, dude. No, they've never seen gay. Some they've guys never seen like, gay or, jokes. or should I just focus all of my sexual energy on this woman before me? And dude, they're just like, that's fucking funny. Yeah, and they were, did it work? Did one of them laugh, or did they None just go? Spit, that was nah, funny. They spit the water there, both like get this guy fuck. the fuck away. The friends were kind of friends. Were, they were like, "That was decent. We'll give it to you." Okay. But then the one guy who wasn't playing came up, and he this guy kind of won. He got the buzzer. They didn't. They didn't spit the water, but they almost did. He goes, "Is butt cheeks one word, or could you spread them apart?" That got a fucking laugh. That's pretty good. That's dude. pretty that's funny. Pretty good. That's, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty good. Funny. I was sitting there against a tree, like fuck. That's fucking. Everything's ten times funny if you have water in your mouth and you're trying not to laugh. That so was that was a good that's, one. That's that's where you're fucked. And he came out of nowhere too. He wasn't even playing. He just came out yeah. of nowhere, grabbed the mic, he got the buzzer. But then yeah, the rest of it was uh, they started doing like this dance contest where they had to make up. They had to, like pretend to fight, but make up like a dance uh, fighting. It was fucking very funny to watch. Luckily, I kind of kept dodging and weaving on that one. I popped out, Holy popped shit, out, dude. And then it was time to leave. I'm like, all right, we're doing Jeopardy round. I went. Eh. Why don't, we, why don't we stick around for one? I said, come back. Okay, come on. Like, 
uh, <laughs> authors. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, it was. Uh, what was the Jeopardy round? I had to leave. I oh. we had we had to go to another place. Dude, it was crazy. That was no racism, by the way. I was no racism. No, I mean, dude, if they were but like, if we're gonna do rap battle and dance contest, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, we're gonna chill for Jeopardy. That's what I'm saying. I was like, okay, here we go. Here yeah. we go. Yeah, I read a lot. Hopefully, yeah. this pays off right now in this backyard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Finally. yeah, dude, it was crazy too. And they like had to do different. Like there was like one round that was traditional dances, and it's like I'm doing the Dougie, I'm doing the Stanky, like I'm doing this. Dude, they went back and forth. Like yeah. I was like, dude, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm doing the waltz. Dude, yeah. What'd you hit him with? I didn't do it. I kept moving the dance. I was like, I'm getting. I'm, Definitely not doing this. I was dance. like, I did enough. I did enough here. You have to do like wedding class. You got to do like the sprinkler. I did the worm, the lawnmower. bro. Lawnmower. It would have been the worm. You should have done the fucking. <laughs> Let's <whatever>. groove. <Yeah. laughs> it was percolator worm. That's all I got in me. Yeah. My repertoire. What's the percolator? Yeah, it's percolator. Mm-hmm. Tell him, brother. <laughs> Go. Yeah, go. <laughs> What's the percolator? Go. <laughs> that would have won. They would have been like, oh. The percolator would have been nasty. Nah, her one cousin did, like, there was a specific dance from, like, the South Side. Pretty sick. She ripped that, and there was just ever. It's oh. over. God damn it. <laughs> Is there a party? I was like, damn it. <laughs> She's on my team. Oh, it sucked. I dropped a piece of silverware. I was out to dinner. I dropped a piece of silverware. Oh. Damn it. Did you do it? I wasn't going to use it anyway. <laughs> nobody knew what I was talking about. It's like, fuck, Matt would have loved it. <laughs> that was the funniest. When did you do that when we were out to dinner? <laughs> I think I did it the whole trip. <laughs> Knocked shit over, dropped shit. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I wasn't going to use that anyway. <laughs> I don't drink wine. <laughs> that was it. Over and over again. I had a battle. Somebody was arguing with me about that. They were like, season one is the best season. I was like, it's season three. Oh, it's the American on, versions. It's come not on. even close. Come on. The American yeah. version has it unlocked. Sabat, James. <laughs> come on. Uh, fucking. Hit us, dude. Straight hit us. The Asian girl who orgasms on a first date and okay. then starts dumping everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close. Making it, or not making it, fucking uh, Love on the Spectrum, season three. They could have get some dassies on there. Brandon Dassey could be on that show. Level on the spectrum, on the spectrum where you call, could be called preventing a school shooter. <laughs> <laughs> it really could, dude. We're trying to get these guys. Oh, Steve! How can I forget my dog Steve? Oh, come on, man. Steve's might be the best character of, of all. It's Michael, unbelievable. That's the problem. They do have Michael, but dude, they do have Michael. They do have the guy who says yes. <laughs> true, true. Oh, I have a female cat named Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to go mean, inside? Get, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a tough call. That guy carries that season pretty hard. Him and Michael carry it. Fucking what's his name? The dude that's like, what a lovely day. That, yeah. Mark. Mark is Mark's good. Mark. You might recognize this dinosaur from the hit 1997 film Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's a Velociraptor. <laughs> yeah, he that yeah, Australia was Michael was crazy. Michael was nice. When those dudes get medieval, there's like I don't know what it does to my brain, but when like an autistic guy gets in like medieval. And dude, Kelvin. Calvin. The Asian dude that was oh. I mean, patiently waiting. Season one has oh. some hitters. Yeah, dude, I think it. Kelvin might have been the best. They bang actually. with anybody, dude. They're from Western They're City. City. Yeah. <laughs> they fucking bang with anybody. Damn, I forgot about Kelvin. I say that to myself at least five times a day. Well, I'm patiently waiting. I'm waiting patiently. Yeah. Uh, but I'm uh, waiting, waiting patiently. patiently. <laughs> She's like, do, do you want to play video games? Uh, I'm patiently waiting. I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> God yeah. damn. Yeah, it was, where are we? We should switch over to the Patreon. Oh, yeah. 150. Oh, yeah, oh we didn't even do ad reads. Cunt. Let's uh, uh do you I wasn't to, gonna read those anyway. Do you want me to try to do that thing tomorrow? I'll try yeah. to do that thing. All right. I'll go, I'll hit the office. I'll try to uh, we're gonna we got a little thing. We got a special treat for the ad reads. Yeah, I'm and gonna we'll see. sprinkle them in what throughout the episode or just toss them in here at the end. Yeah, we'll sprinkle them in. See how good they are. True, true. Let's see what happens. Worst here. comes to worst, I'll just deadpan the camera on a webcam and read them. <laughs> read them like a fucking ransom. <laughs> <laughs> like a, read them like Zarkawi's got you. <laughs> 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 I just stand there with the guy with the head on the bag on his head. (laughs) Hi, I was calling to tell you about an exciting new product line from Sheath Underwear. The idea from Sheath came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton, during his second tour in Iraq. It's about Sheath Underwear. Hey, sorry, I have to finish. It's for my job. Um, The Sheath Underwear worked for him and it'll work for you from Robert Patton. We wear Sheath Underwear and they are great. 
Support the show and support this awesome veteran-owned company. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code DRENCH to get 20% off your first order. Every order comes with Sheath's 100% money-back guarantee. Southeast Kitchen. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code DRENCH to get 20% off your first order. Every order comes with Sheath's 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code DRENCH. Get Sheath Underwear. Let them support your balls. Sheath Underwear keeps your balls off your leg. A veteran figured that out. Oh, he was under enemy fire. His penis was... I'll try. I'll try. I read, I read a comment. Out. Someone was upset with you guys. I wasn't laughing. What you happened? guys were laughing about uh, one of the... I think it was Berg who got beheaded in, on camera. Yeah, the guy who went to try to build fucking uh, telephone poles. Got his head cut off. Who was mad about that? Somebody in the comments. And I said, I agree with them. And it made me sick to my stomach. I mean, dude, it's... Kind of funny looking back. I mean, at the time, I'd be pissed. If it was like my brother, I'd be like, that's not funny. That's what they're saying. They're like... He's from it, Westchester, Pennsylvania. I know. How crazy is that? I know. That, there was a, There is a part of me on those that's always like, holy shit. Yeah, he's close. Can you imagine if that's how... Obviously, no one in my family is trying to build telephone poles. Yeah. But if they were, and they went out, and that's how you find out someone in your family dies, and there's a video that everyone's like, holy shit, you got to see this. Yeah, it's terrible. It's the worst. It's terrible. It's although, up there. Although, it's up there with the worst. I did do Wild and Out, though, in the backyard. So that, you try to come at me about that kind of shit, and I'm like, you ever done Wild and Out, dude? Honestly, if people had to choose, cut my head <laughs> off. 99% <laughs> are going to go with the Wild and Out. <laughs> but there's a shocking number of people that would be like, for real, just get this over with. I'm not doing what. I'm not doing what's it like to be black <laughs> in the South Side Chicago exactly. Wild and Out. She Holy went to her cousin. Fuck, she was like, dude. you're an asshole for that. He's like, that was the next one. I mean, so he didn't shuffle the deck. I'll give it to him. It's funny. It's very. I I said, I was like, Brittany, he did the right thing. That was the right move. Very funny. Very funny. The opposite of that would also be pretty brutal. If if there was one black guy at a white party and they were like, we're going to do Wild and Out. Yeah. And then they were like, all right, first one's rap. You're going to win this. You're going to do so good. Yeah, true. Yeah. First round. White white versions just like charades or heads up. Cards Against yeah, Humanity, that's yeah. pretty wild. I might try to bring Wild out to the family party. Your it's family would be so, extremely funny. It's so fun. Dude, it, it, it was, like I was saying, I was again, I was like, fuck, what the fuck? I was like, this is a fun, it's a good time. Everyone at the party that's had nice. as much fun as you can have. It's nice backyard. for everyone to have a good time. It was funny, dude. Good for them to let loose. If somebody, can you imagine? Dude. That's the thing, we can't do this stuff. We can't have fun. It's like, you, you know, we can't we can't dance at the family party. We gotta start. You dance at the family party? You gotta start, I gotta start. Just hitting the dog. If I was dancing I at the family party, people would pull me aside and be like, yo, you're like, for real, your life's out of control. <laughs> what are you you're doing Dude, drugs? My uh, my nephew goes up to the Alexa now and he goes, Alexa, do a wet fart. And this goes. Yeah. Those little fuckers. Dude, little kids in Alexa's. Is, Dude, it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Let's slide to the page. We're gonna, oh, Matt's, we Matt's going to do some cool ads. Yeah. Well, they'll be. And then <laughs> we're going to switch over to the Patreon. <laughs> Guys, join the Patreon if you'd yeah, like to hear on, more man. rousing conversations. Yeah. We got a good topic, though. On the page? Yeah. We didn't even talk about the fucking buy odor. The what? The PBs, dude. The what? We got to talk about the PBs. <laughs> the PBs. The blinders, dude. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. yeah. We got a whole fucking Buy talk. order. You got to go to the Patreon. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. What a teaser. 